Next, slide four T-nuts into place with a rough spacing of about four inches. Then place a smart plate on the table and get the bolt started in the T-nuts. Now we're gonna slide the smart plate about halfway off the table with an overhang of four inch 650 off the edge. We'll tighten this back left bolt and finger tighten the rest. Then use a dial test indicator on this left edge and get it square within a few thousandths. The final indication will be done once we mount our rotary unit. Now that that's done, let's decide on our rotary placement. To maximize swing clearance, position the rotary platter so it overhangs this face. To maximize X travel, put it as far to the right as you can. In this example, we're gonna maximize swing clearance for use with our Rotovice Pro. Start by pre-threading a bolt into one of the tapped holes and then move the rotary into place. Once verified, use the included T-nut on the right side and finger tighten the bolt. Now tighten the left bolt snugly. This will create a pivot point as we do a final indication of the rotary platter. Once indicated, tighten the right side bolt, double check squareness one more time, and you're done. Solve the problem of limited clearance and get your travels back with the Smart Plate by Pearson Work Holding. Now, go innovate your production.